quite a few of you have commented in and asked about the skateboard rack in the old back garden shed. It's a pretty simple design. I bought it off of eBay. It was made out of fairly flimsy MDF and I always thought I could improve and slightly tweak the design. Sadly, the old rack got broken in transit, was a bit flimsy. So this then necessitated the building of a new skateboard rack. I had to squeeze it a couple of pictures of the old skateboard rack and use these as a jumping off point for my own design. I decided to upgrade the build quality and the aesthetic by not using MDF this time, but going for 18 mil thick wood. This was 94 mil deep and I went for a 2.4 meter length and I simply cut this in half. This would give me two 1.2 meter lengths of wood, exactly the same size, and these would form the two sides of the skateboard rack. The next stage was to design my little cutouts. I simply did a 45 degree line and then another 45 degree line, three centimeters apart. I decided upon this by measuring the thickness of a board with rails and just adding a little bit more room so it could slot in nice and easy. Once I created my cardboard template, I could place this on the wood and simply trace around it to create my cutouts for the boards. In terms of deciding where the cutouts should be, I simply laid two boards together to see how much clearance I'd need for the wheels and then also jimmied it around so I could get six cutouts out of a 1.2 meter length of wood. It turned out that the distance between the two cutouts needed to be 19 centimeters. So it was a three centimeter cutout, 45 degrees angle, 19 centimeters at a time. So if you wanted to make a skateboard rack for more or less boards, you could either do less or continue it on for longer. Once I traced out my design, I just tarted up the edges made it nice strong lines and then it was out with the jigsaw to cut the bad boy out. To make sure both sides were identical, I simply traced around the first side I created. This would mean that hopefully the boards would not sit at a jaunty angle. Any sort of jaunty angle plays with the OCD so it needs to be straight. To get a nice rounded bit where the boards slot in, I used a drill and that would just give me a nice round circle. It also gave me a good place for the jigsaw to finish its cut. I was finding that trying to get that circle with a jigsaw would be a little bit raggedy and also place a little bit too much strain on the jigsaw blade. Following the jigsaw work, it was time for a bit of light sanding, just get everything feeling and looking as nice as possible and then it was time for a bit of assembly. Luckily I had some pieces of the same type of wood left over from building the new back garden shed. So I cut out four 29 centimeter lengths and these would form the tops of the rack and also some slats for the back of the rack. This would add a little bit more structural rigidity but also allow me some points that I could drill through to mount the rack on the wall. I just anchored these slats by drilling through my side pieces and then screwing two screws into each slat at each side. Once the rack was built, it was time for a little bit more of a light sand. I decided not to add a finish at this point because I was worried that any finish I stuck on would in some way scrape off onto the board decks and I quite liked the look of the natural wood. So that was a rack build all finished. Time to mount it on the wall. When building the new back garden shed, anywhere where there's plasterboard, I mounted OSB board on the back. And that meant that I could just drill in screws willy nilly without any wall plugs or any dreaded plasterboard fixings. I used the spirit level just to make sure it was straight. Jobs are good and pop the boards in. Oh my gosh. Well, that's it for the skateboard rack video. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. It's a lot of fun to put together, doesn't take too much time. I was surprised how easy it was, and also I was surprised that it managed to turn out fairly okay. It also is pretty cheap, cost me seven quid 
for the one big long strip of wood. I think if you were doing it from scratch, you'd have to buy another bit of wood to create the other four slats. Obviously you could paint it any color you want. You could also make it out of any materials you want. I'm still undecided on the finish. I quite like it natural. Leave your preference for color and also material in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe. I make new videos every week. You can also follow me on Instagram at John Bishop Skate. As ever, my name's been John Bishop and I'm a middle-aged guy learning how to use a jigsaw.